Over the last year, a ton of FNF mods have come and gone due to being canceled or nearly canceled. And in this video, I want to go over some of the largest Friday Night Funky mods that actually ended up being canceled and give you the reason behind why they were actually scrapped. Now, luckily, some of these mods were completed by the fans or others were created by developers coming together to finish unfinished projects. And I'll be explaining all of that in this video. Now, the first mod that I want to talk about is actually one of my favorites, and it's one of the more recent ones, and that's going to be the Hypnos Lullaby mod. Now, this mod was actually scrapped only a few months back, and it was received very well by the community. People absolutely love the original version of this mod and the newer version of this mod, or aka the updated version. The reason that this mod ended up being canceled is because the director of the mod, who is named Bambuzz, ended up saying some type of racial slur in a voice chat, and this ended up later being leaked, and soon after that, his team started to basically fall apart. Now, what I find interesting interesting here is that a lot of people commenting on his videos and just on his Twitter, they weren't even really that mad about the situation, meaning that they weren't really mad at Bimba's or the Hypnos Lullaby team. A lot of people truly thought that the incident was blown out of proportion and the mod ended up falling apart because so many people just decided to pull their work and members decided to leave. And then on top of that, apparently one of the team members ended up leaking part of the bill without Bimba's permission. And at that point, I think Bimba's was just ready to be done with the mod in general. It was sad the way that this one went out because regardless of what anybody wants to say, Hypnos Lullaby is one of like the best mods to ever be brought into the Friday Night Funkin' community. The next mod on our list is going to be the Sonics.exe mod, and this is another one of those mods that is definitely one of the most influential mods to ever be released in Friday Night Funkin'. We know this because this mod basically caused a chain reaction where you couldn't go a week without seeing some form of a Sonic.exe mod being added into the community. And I mean that with no exaggeration. People who have been in this community for a while know that I'm telling 100% facts. Now, with that being said, this mod pretty much had it rough from the very beginning. The drama, from my understanding, started with allegations of the director at the time, whose name being Rebby, was uh, being considered to be a groomer. Now, even to this day, there seems to be some people who fall on either side of that argument, but most of the evidence that has been released since then would suggest that they are not a pedo. It also seems that the AXE team suffered from a lack of maturity and leadership. I say this for a few reasons. We saw that once Rebby was actually out of the picture because she had been booted out, the mod basically fell apart and seemed to have no direction. Basically to the point where the mod ended up being canceled and then later having to be made whole by the community. And that just kind of goes to show that even though the Friday Night Fucking community can be super toxic, we do have people who are very dedicated to these mods and that is kind of what's keeping this community afloat. Now another one of the issues that led up to this mod being canceled is that there was a lot of people on the team who basically said that they would have minimum original characters in the mod, but in reality, when you look at this mod, it was overly saturated with original characters. And another issue that people People had with this is that a lot of these characters strayed away from the original concept of EXEs. For a lot of people, Curse was a good example. People felt like the mod team was trying to push some type of agenda instead of staying close to like the creepiness of these actual characters. And I honestly don't have too much to say about that. I feel like if you're the creator of something, you pretty much can do whatever you want with it. And when you put that art into the world, people are going to take it how they take it. So it is what it is. But the real issue with so many original characters is that it seemed like different people on the team wanted their original character to be front and center. And that couldn't happen, obviously, right? So I believe that a lot of people let their ego get the better of them and it ended up making the mod as a whole suffer. Now, while we obviously can't deny that Sonic.exe had a huge impact on the community, it's also the mod that probably had the most childish drama. And I think that this mod serves as a reminder of just how young some of these mod teams are. Now, the Sonic.exe mod has so much drama in it, I could probably make a 20 minute video on that alone. But I believe that if you wanna get in depth in this, you should check out a channel called Game Real because I feel like he goes very much in depth if you really wanna get into it. I'll put a link to his video down in the description. The next canceled mod on our list is gonna be the Baddies mod. And this mod was one of the most well done mods I think to ever be released in Friday Night Funkin' and it was personally one of my favorites. And the good news here is that it seems that Nova is working on getting another version out soon. He even released like a little demo for us to play about a month ago. Now the original was canceled because of copyright infringements from my understanding. Nova basically used some of the characters that he didn't have permission to use. Now from my understanding, you can put like other people's characters in the background of your mod, but if you don't have permission to use them in any significant way, then technically you're stealing somebody else's content. I believe that the massacre scene was like the major issue here because there were some people actually being like unalive in that scene. Now I know that some people also had problems with the mod being a bit too sexual and also the way that Jasmine uh, was portrayed trade but those were definitely not the big problems with the mod but with that being said i am excited to see what he does next because his mod was definitely a banger the next mod on our list is going to be the Mistful Crimson Morning mod. This mod was canceled because of some drama with an artist named Beta Sheep. 
He basically got called out for saying some racist slurs in a private server and also drawing some not safe for work art of Toad, which is interesting to think about because Toad is not a sexy character at all. Now the hate for Beta Sheep spread to the team Twitter as well, causing people to leave the project because they felt like they were getting harassed too much. Now some people believe that Beta Sheep shut the project down, but it seems that it was more like a group decision. Now good news here though is that a director by the name of Stone Steves actually picked up the project and has planned to finish this mod. And with this, we get another interesting mod that bloomed from Mr. Crimson Morning, and that is the Nightmare Squidward Madness mod. Now this mod came about because people wanted to see all the scrapped and unused content that didn't make it into Mr. Crimson Morning, which would give some spotlight to a handful of characters that didn't get their moment. Unfortunately, this mod ended up being canceled January 2023, but we're supposed to get an unfinished build sometime in February, so hopefully this month. The reason that I think it ended up getting canceled is because the team just didn't have motivation for it, especially considering that Stone Steez was going to bring back the Mr. Will Crimson Morning mod and finish it. So I guess in a way it doesn't make sense to do two of the same mods. Now the next mod is a natural transition because Beta Sheep also had a hand in the reason this mod almost got cancelled. Now the mod I'm talking about is called the Mario Madness mod. Apparently Beta drew some racist artwork and tried to pass it off as if it was done by other members of the Mario Madness team and it turns out that he even leaked certain parts of the mod without the team's permission. Good news here though is that the team was able to get in front of this before too much damage was done and just recently the team actually released a trailer on Twitter, which means that this mod is probably good to go and we'll probably get it pretty soon. The next mod on our list is titled Illegal Instruction, and this mod ended up getting cancelled because multiple members of the team were exposed for being in contact with a person named Jester Frog, who was accused of grooming a 14 year old girl. It seems that Jester Frog has since left the community and the mod, and now Illegal Instruction will be making a comeback, although many of the characters have been removed. Curse, Normal CD, and Hog and Scorch being a few examples. The next mod on our list is going to be the Entity mod, and this is one that people really, really liked, especially because people were simping for Nakuza. And there wasn't really a whole lot of drama behind the reason that this one ended up being cancelled. The mod team simply just lost interest and motivation in doing it, and they didn't want to try to force each other to work on a mod because they were young and this was not technically supposed to be a job. It was supposed to be something that they were doing for fun and for the joy of it. So once they saw that people were no longer enjoying working on it, they just decided to let it go and just release the content that they had, which was still pretty good if we're being honest. Now the last mod that I want to talk about is an interesting one and that's going to be the Wednesday Infidelity mod because a lot of people thought that this mod was cancelled and that's not actually the case. It seems that a person named Flacco got on Twitter and said that this mod was actually cancelled and then Box Funkin had to come in and actually clarify. Apparently the mod team of the Wednesday Infidelity mod was thinking about updating the mod aka giving it a V3. But when they looked back at the volume 2 of the mod, they decided that the mod was great as it was and it had plenty of content so there was no need to just continue it for the sake of. So the mod wasn't technically cancelled, they just wanted to leave it as it was because they thought it was good enough. Now if you want to dig deeper into the cancellation of some of these mods, I'll link a couple of creators like Toastify, Game Real, and Astronomical down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this one on the screen here. Subscribe today to become a member of the Horse Force and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.